What's up guys and welcome to the Amazingly Fit and Healthy YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to look at protein sources for vegans. We are going to debunk those vegan protein myths. You may be wondering where in the world do vegans get their proteins? Do they even get enough protein? If you are looking to transition to a vegan lifestyle or even try, then stay tuned to this video. Before we get into today's video, I want you to subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. That way you will never ever miss an upload from this channel. What is a good protein source for vegans? Hmm. Hmm. I must admit that I was one of the ignorant people that thought vegans were a healthy, skinny people. I actually used to think like this. But boy, was I wrong for that. Actually, people tend to think that living a vegan lifestyle is impossible, but that is way far from the truth. Our bodies need protein because they are the building blocks of the body. They assist to repair cells and create new ones. Now, by understanding the nutritional value of the available alternatives, eliminating them can be easy and healthy. Since vegans have a non-dairy diet, then they must find other means to include proteins in their diet. Now, if you are an omnivore looking to transition to a vegan lifestyle, please ensure that you are substituting the meat with the right amount of protein from the new plant-based diet. Now, the following are good protein sources for vegans. This probably looks familiar to you and this is called tofu. Tofu is a curd made from matched soybeans. This is a good source of protein for vegans and contains many minerals that are essential for the body. Now, according to sources, tofu contains iron, magnesium, potassium, fiber, and amino acids. It is used in many Asian cuisines, yummy, and vegetarian or vegan diets. In China, a wide variety of tofu is sold in the supermarkets and I must say that the Chinese are very creative when they are implemented tofu in their dishes. Since I've started my journey, I've made scrambled tofu as a replacement for the eggs. I used both firm tofu and soft tofu and the results were impeccable. It actually looked like real eggs. You can achieve the egg-like taste by adding black salt. Now, black salt is an Indian salt that has a sulfuric taste and smell that gives you the eggy taste. Once seasoned with the right amount of herb and salt, then trust me, you won't even miss the real eggs. You can find the nutritional fats of tofu according to the weight of it. 91 grams of tofu contains 10 grams of protein, 100 milligrams of calcium, 0.6 milligrams of iron, 5 grams of sodium, 4 grams of carbohydrates, and 2 grams of fiber. Another good source of protein is tempeh. Tempeh, tempeh, tempeh. Hey. Tempeh is a product made from soybeans. It is obtained by cooking and soaking soybeans and later by adding the fungus Rhizopus oleogosporus, please forgive me, which causes them to ferment. After 18 hours, it has turned into a paste that is either um, served fry, roasted, or as a hamburger. Tempeh contains 19% protein, which is either equal or greater to that of meat. Nuts and seeds. Now, who doesn't love nuts? Nuts are like God's gift to man. They are just that healthy snack that you can just crunch on, you know? But anyways, nuts are simple, but yet essential to our diets. Almonds, peanuts, walnuts, cashew, potassium, brazen nuts, and pecans are some of the nuts that, are, that contain the best sources of protein for vegans. It was reported that some nuts are more wholesome than others. Now, I didn't notice at first, but you know, as you do your research, then you learn more and more. Now, watch this carefully. 
almond nuts are preferable to peanuts. Now, peanuts should be used in limited quantities along with grains to make nourishing and digestible food. Persons who are struggling to put on muscle weight can include nuts in their diets since nuts are a good source of healthy fat. Not only are fats and proteins contained in nuts, but they also have high source of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. Seeds also contain a high amount of protein and below are the amount of protein per 100 gram. So comment below and tell me which nuts <laughs> and seeds you like. So the next thing on our agenda are beans. Now, beans are the common protein source for vegans that is included in the diet. Now, vegans tend to be creative as there is no meat included in the diet. Well, they have to be or else they will get bored easily. There are a variety of things they can do with beans such as black bean burgers, you know, lentil patties. So they're not only high in protein, but fiber, potassium, and iron. The beans that are high in protein per gram, per 100 gram, are soybean, bean at number one. Then we have lentils, split peas, white beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, and black beans. Now, soybeans have the highest amount of protein. Soy milk can be an alternative dairy milk and it's delicious. One cup contains at least 8 grams of protein. Next is quinoa, B E A U T F O, right? Right. So, this rice replacement is high in fiber, protein, minerals, antioxidants, and all nine essential amino acids. Can't get a better deal than that. What I love about quinoa is its versatility. You can put it in soup, salad, cookers, and much more. According to Tots, quinoa is most famous for being one of the only plant foods that supply complete protein, offering all essential amino acids in a healthy balance. Wow. Wow. Another benefit of this superfood is that it may help decrease Get this, the risk of inflammation. Sources say that it may improve your blood sugar and cholesterol levels. So for those people who may want to reduce or completely stop the intake of white rice, quinoa is the perfect replacement for you. Our next item is Satan. No, not the devil. Not the devil. Like Satan, like what is she talking about? No, not that one. But Satan is made from gluten, which is the main protein in wheat and water. It is a substitute that vegans and vegetarians use to get their 21 grams of protein, right? It has a bland taste, but when marinated or cut with other dishes, it sorts out the flavor of that dish, right? It is very versatile, so you can add whatever flavor you like. As you know, such as chicken flavor or fish flavor. So a question is being asked, is seitan be better than tofu? Well, tofu is lower in protein and higher in fat, but I wouldn't say one is better than the other as you can buy both either low or high fat. So really and truly, it all boils down to your preference. Protein rich vegetables, so according to the Encyclopedia of Food, the proportion of amino acids of each type of protein is not ideal, except with legumes, okay? However, by adequately combining two or more vegetable proteins in the same meal or within an interval of a few hours, these deficiencies are overcome. Hallelujah. Hence, vegetable proteins behave as complete proteins. So eat your vegetables, people. So other vegetables include, and this is per 100 gram, they include zucchini, mushroom, baked potato, whole grain rice, mug beans, lentil, and soybeans. So the average amount of protein recommended for an adult is 50 grams. 
you can calculate the protein based on the body weight and calorie intake. So based on a calorie diet, 10% should come from proteins. For a 2000 calorie diet, this amounts to 50 grams of protein. So based on the body weight, for an adult, it will be 0.75 per kilo of the weight. And for children, it will be 1 to 2 per kilo of the weight. Right? So these are some of the ways that how vegans can obtain um, their protein. So if you're looking for to transition or to even give it a try, I hope that this video was very helpful to you. Now you don't have to rush the process, but I know once you start living a healthier lifestyle, then you will feel more energetic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.